Royal Family Live, Prince Andrew kicked out of Philip Memorial today. Prince Andrew has been spotted in his car near Windsor Castle ahead of a memorial for his father Prince Philip on Tuesday. The Duke of Edinburgh's memorial will be Andrew's first public engagement since his father's funeral last year. Andrew stepped down from royal duties in November 2019 and has been keeping a low profile ever since. In January, the Queen stripped Andrew of his military and HRH titles, following the news that the prince was to face a civil sexual abuse trial in the U.S. However, Andrew reached an out of court settlement in principle with his accuser in February. The settlement was not an admission of guilt, and Andrew has vehemently denied all claims against him. Special arrangements made for Queen during memorial service of her beloved Philip. A memorial service for Prince Philip will be held at Westminster Abbey on March 29. The Queen's increasingly frail state has meant special arrangements are being put in place in order for her to be able to attend. Buckingham Palace and Westminster Abbey have worked to give the increasingly frail 95-year-old monarch every chance of attending the service by tailoring it for her comfort. The service has been limited to 40 minutes instead of an hour and the Queen, who will make a final decision this morning about whether she is feeling mobile enough to attend her first official engagement outside a royal residence since October last year, will sit in a comfortable chair while others in the congregation stand for hymns. She will be brought in by a side entrance beside Poets' Corner in Westminster Abbey and walk, possibly with the aid of a walking stick, to her place to avoid the much longer walk from the Great West Door to the far end of the nave where the royal family sit. Officials had discussed bringing in a more comfortable seat for her but it was decided yesterday that she will sit in one of the two Canada chairs always used by the Sovereign or the most senior member of the royal family at services in the Abbey. Everyone attending Prince Philip Memorial. Tomorrow the royal family will celebrate the life of Prince Philip ahead of the first anniversary of his death, but who will be in attendance? Crowds in their hundreds are expected at Westminster Abbey, including members from both Britain and Europe's royal families. No official confirmation has been released from Buckingham Palace that the Queen will attend the memorial service. In recent months, her Majesty has been hampered by illness issues, including a bout of COVID. Elsewhere, Prince Charles, and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, will lead a list of royal family members expected to be in attendance. They will be joined by Prince Edward, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, Princess Anne, and her husband Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge are also expected to be present. Cambridge's tour sparked Twitter outrage. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's Caribbean tour was on the receiving end of Twitter outrage, according to the Education Secretary. Nadim Zahawi, asked on LBC whether he felt William and Kate's royal tour had an unfortunate hark back to colonial times, said, No, I don't believe that. I believe the tour has been a fantastic outreach for the Prince and his wife. They have done a tremendous job told there appeared to have been some local difficulties during the trip, the cabinet minister added, I don't agree, but some of that is the Twitter outrage. He added, I think we should be proud of the Commonwealth. I think Prince William was very wise to say, actually it is up to the Commonwealth countries if they feel they want him to be the head of the Commonwealth. I think that will strengthen the Commonwealth, not weaken it. And I think Prince Charles will make a great king, as will Prince William. Kate's Something Borrowed and Something Blue paid tribute to two royals on wedding day. Kate Middleton wore one of the most stunning royal bridal ensembles in recent memory at her 2011 wedding, but her outfit was made extra special by her symbolic choices for her Something Borrowed and Something Blue. For her Something Blue, Kate's dress included a subtly stitched blue ribbon. Kate wore the Cartier Halo tiara for her wedding day and it came straight from the Queen's extensive jewellery collection. And for something new Kate wore a pair of earrings gifted to her by her parents Carol and Michael Middleton for her big day. Bit odd Keir Starmer comments on Will and Kate's tour gesture. Sir Keir Starmer said it was a bit odd for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to ride in the back of the same Land Rover that the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh used 60 years ago. During the last day of their Caribbean tour, Prince William and Kate enjoyed a ride in the Queen's Jamaican Land Rover, 
the vehicle that transported the Queen and Prince Philip on their visit to the Caribbean island in 1962. Labour leader Sir Keir said, in a sense, what William and Kate were doing, which I applaud, is saying, we're looking to the future, but that all harked of the past, so I didn't quite see how that actually fit that well with the aim of their trip. Queen and Prince Philip were disappointed after Meghan and Harry snubbed Christmas. Queen Elizabeth II and her husband Prince Philip were disappointed by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's absence from an important family event, a royal expert claimed. Ahead of their exit from the royal family, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spent an extended Christmas break in Canada. Richard K., royal expert and columnist told the 2022 Channel 5 documentary Harry and Meghan vs. the Monarchy, Christmas is a very, very important part in the Queen's calendar. She likes to draw her family around her. She and Prince Philip were getting older. They knew that there wouldn't be too many more Christmases and they must have been disappointed. well with the aim of their trip. Queen and Prince Philip were disappointed after Meghan and Harry snubbed Christmas. Queen Elizabeth II and her husband Prince Philip were disappointed by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's absence from an important family event, a royal expert claimed. Ahead of their exit from the royal family, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spent an extended Christmas break in Canada. Richard K. Royal expert and columnist told the 2022 Channel 5 documentary Harry and Meghan vs. the Monarchy, Christmas is a very, very important part in the Queen's calendar. She likes to draw her family around her. She and Prince Philip were getting older. 
They knew that there wouldn't be too many more Christmases and they must have been disappointed.